Hello, it's Vicky here and uh, today I'm sharing another art journal la layout. So here is a look at uh, what I'll be making today, but first I'll uh, go ahead and uh, do a quick uh, art journal flip through since I get uh, this question a lot. So that's how bulky my art journal is. For every one of the pages that I am showing to you, there is a how-to video uploaded on my YouTube channel. All the supplies I'm using on my pages are always listed below the video on my YouTube channel. For a list of uh, supplies that I'm using today, just like this one with photos that link you to the online shops where I got the products, please visit my blog. So let's get started. I'm uh, leaving one page blank and you'll see why uh, later on. So I'll just uh, start using my paper pad. This is by Seven Gypsies and it's called Global. Today my theme is about uh, traveling and uh, that's why I've chosen uh, two pattern papers with a map. So now I'm just cutting them down uh, to fit my pages perfectly. You can see that there is a small uh, gap at the bottom but I really don't mind. You'll see that I'll cover it up later on. So I'm just uh, cutting out the pieces there and then I'll go ahead and glue them down using my gel medium. Now that they are uh, sticked down, I'm just uh, using my scissors to cut around the corners and um, I'll uh, go ahead and use my gesso and I'm working here with a wet uh, brush. I dip it in the water as you can see here just uh, to make sure that I have a thin uh, layer of uh, gesso. I'm not trying to cover, cover up my background. I just try to make it white and push it more on the background. Now I'll uh, go ahead and use a baby wipe that uh, is uh, really a quick and easy method to apply just a very thin uh, layer of gesso on the pages. I did that for both my pages and uh, you can see that there is a small repetition of the design at the background paper but I really don't mind most of the left page is going to be covered up later on so once uh, this is dry I'll uh, use my distress paints here is the chart of all the paints that I own and I'm uh, trying to decide which uh, colors I'm going to use for the background I just need a transparent layer at the background that is uh, kind of bluish so I guess I decided to go with uh, broken china as my main uh, paint and uh, later on I'll uh, go ahead and uh, apply some peacock feathers. Again I don't want to cover up the whole background so I'm trying to keep uh, the paint transparent and that's why I'm uh, trying to apply it using a baby wipe. Distress paint dries permanent but uh, while it's still wet it can react with water and that's why I have uh, uh, the ability to apply everything with a baby wipe. And uh, this is peacock feathers and I'm also uh, dabbing it with a uh, baby wipe here and there and uh, that will be my background. <laughs> so simple. And uh, now I'm just using, uh, I think that's walnut stain. I'm going all over the top of my page and again with uh, the baby wipe. I try again to keep uh, the color transparent. I don't want to miss the detail on the pattern paper. And now that's Manila cardstock by Ranger and I'm just uh, cutting it down. And I believe the dimensions are uh, eight and a half by five and three quarters. So I'm uh, using uh, this Manila cardstock to create my suitcase which uh, then I'm going to stick on uh, top of my layout. So I'm cutting down uh, two strips of paper, again from the same cardstock, and I'm going to round my corners using my corner chomper. The idea is to create a 
vintage look uh, suitcase with all uh, the stickers from uh, the travels and uh, I'll uh, go ahead and show you my technique of creating uh, faux leather. So now I'm uh, uh, just drawing uh, the handle which I'm going to cut with my scissors and uh, then I'll create uh, some more accents for my suitcase. And here is a quick look to all the little accents on my sweet case. So I'll go ahead and show you how I created those little straps as well as the corner reinforcements. So I'm using a small uh, circle uh, stamp and uh, I'll just uh, stamp two of those uh, circles for uh, one little strap. After sketching them out, I'm using my scissors and cut around them. All these uh, sketch lines are not going to show. This is going to be the back of uh, the straps, actually. So after cutting them, all four of them, I use this uh, circle die and I cut out uh, a circle, which I'm now going to cut in uh, four equal parts. These quarters that I'm creating now are going to be the sweet cases uh, reinforcement corners later on. And now that all the parts of the sweet case are ready, I guess it's time to create uh, the leather. Uh, I'm using uh, a piece of uh, tissue paper, that's a newspaper tissue paper by Tim Holtz, but you don't have to use that. I was trying to find my totally white uh, tissue tape and I know I've uh, put it somewhere that I couldn't find, so I've used uh, this one. But uh, anyway, let's pretend this is uh, white. Now I've uh, created some wrinkles on it and uh, now I've used a gel medium to stick it down. I'm making sure that I keep the wrinkles on uh, that paper. I'm also covering it up with a gel medium on top just to make sure that everything is stick down uh, well. And once uh, everything was dry I've used my scissors to cut around it. So I've used the tissue paper just to create the wrinkles there. Now, uh, just because I didn't want uh, the newsprint, I needed to cover it up with something. So I've used uh, gesso. Gesso is a great way to cover up whatever you don't want uh, to show. I'm um, trying to apply a thick uh, layer of gesso here. So I'll uh, just go over it. And once this is dry, I'll show you the result. And now here is my go-to color combination for when you want to use to create uh, leather. That's a uh, walnut stain, which I'm going to cover up uh, the whole area. I'm also spraying it with water and uh, that makes it uh, uh, easier to spread all around. And I know that looks awful now, but wait uh, and see what happens when you add antiqued bronze. That's one of the metallics and I've sprayed it with water again, dabbing it with uh, just a paper towel. And uh, then I have uh, went ahead and um, colored all the little accents. I'm uh, sticking them down on my craft sheet just to make sure that they don't move. To color all these uh, little accents, I've uh, I basically turned them black by using a black suit uh, distress paint and then uh, applied a layer of antique bronze. That's how they turned out and uh, now I'm just uh, using tacky glue and sticking everything uh, together.
this is where I decided that those uh, strips of paper were too wide. So I am fighting with my fiscal streamer there to cut them in half. I ended up sticking them on another piece of uh, paper. Long story short, they are now thinner. After gluing everything down, I'm using my Tim Holtz uh, needle tool there to create some uh, holes and uh, I'm adding uh, little brads. Small details like these really make uh, your projects uh, come to life. I have added brads on uh, all the four uh, small uh, straps and uh, now I'll go ahead and create uh, more holes to add uh, two of those brads on uh, each one of the corners. And now that my sweet case is ready, it's, here is the outcome. It's uh, time to create the stickers. This uh, stamp set is seriously amazing. It's by Tim Holtz and it's called uh, Travel Labels. And I'm uh, using, uh, again, my distress inks. I'm applying uh, some uh, color on uh, just a piece of uh, scrap paper there. Then I'll go ahead and use uh, Archival Ink and stamp the stickers. As I'm stamping my images, I'm uh, using uh, different uh, archival ink colors like uh, orange on top of uh, yellow or uh, dark blue on top of uh, light blue. But you can see that I didn't like how this one uh, looked. So I have decided to stamp it again. I'm stamping it again at the bottom and I'll color it uh, on top. Anyway, I'm uh, once I'm happy with uh, the stickers, I'm using my scissors and cut around them. So here is the set and uh, this is what I have created, all those uh, little stickers out of it. Now I'm using the stress ink, this is vintage photo and I'm applying um, some ink around the edges and uh, I'm using the smaller uh, tool by Tim Holtz and I really like the round and uh, small shape of it. So now I'm uh, just uh, applying some uh, tacky glue at the back and I'll stick them on top of my uh, sweet case. And now my sweet case is ready and I'm really happy with the outcome. I think it looks great. So now I'll go ahead and uh, before sticking it on uh, my layout, I'll create a um, compass. This is another uh, Tim Holtz uh, stamp set and it's uh, one of the blueprints collection. 
I have stamped the image using a coffee archival link on the Manila cardstock and I'm using distress paint on top of it. And just because I want the paint to be more transparent and fade out, I've sprayed it with water and then dab it out with a paper towel. Now I'm cutting around the compass. I'm adding just a splash of yellow paint there. And uh, now my compass is ready. I'm quite happy with the outcome. So all uh, that's left to do is uh, add some uh, vintage photo at the edges. And uh, now I can stick it uh, down on my layout. Before uh, doing so, I'll uh, go ahead and stamp uh, the, the stamp just to get all uh, the extra details around the compass. So I'm using again a coffee archival link. I get all uh, the little uh, lines, blueprints uh, and uh, the symbols. And uh, now I can uh, go ahead and stick uh, the compass down. You'll see me using uh, my tacky glue or my gel medium. Don't ask me why. Sometimes I just uh, find it easier to use my gel medium instead of the tacky glue. But uh, just keep in mind that if you use gel medium as a glue, then uh, you make sure that everything is uh, totally flat and uh, glued flat on uh, your pages. So sometimes I don't uh, just randomly pick uh, one glue instead of the other. I just uh, decide if I want this um, element to be totally flat on my page or if I want to have uh, just a bit of dimension. In uh, this case that I want to uh, stick down my sweet case, I had to cut it down in two pieces. Otherwise my art journal wouldn't be able to close. And uh, here I am being brave. After doing all uh, this uh, work for uh, creating my sweet case, I actually find the strength to cut it in half. I have used a gel medium at the back to stick uh, the sweet case on top of my pages. But uh, remember that this is cardstock and uh, it's quite thick. And uh, it didn't work uh, as well as I thought. Uh, it was taking too long to stick down. So I switched to my tacky glue and uh, tacky glue did the trick. And again, see how I left these uh, two pages uh, blank as I was uh, thinking forward before starting my layout and you'll see why in a minute. Once the sweet case was in place, it was time to stick the handle. I've uh, used uh, gel medium for that and it worked okay. That's a small piece, so it wasn't a, a big of a problem. And uh, the more I see it, the more I love it. I just uh, love how the sweet case looks. To add more interest on my background, I decided to use uh, uh, three of my planes from my Wood Veneer collection. I believe these are by Studio Calico and I'm drawing some uh, lines with my pencil. And uh, for those uh, trails, I'm uh, going to use uh, red floss and uh, create the lines of uh, where the planes are going. Uh, so I'm again using my Tim Holtz, uh, I'm looking for it, my Tim Holtz tool. Uh, the needle tool and I'm uh, creating th some uh, holes there by using my red floss and my needle I'm going to show the lines and uh, just because I didn't want those lines to be straight lines but uh, more of a curved line I just had to use some tacky glue to make uh, the floss go wherever I wanted to I'm securing the floss at the back with uh, my tape runner you can also use uh, scotch tape if you like and because I'm doing that in uh, both my pages, I think that uh, it makes now sense why I needed to have an empty uh, page just before this uh, layout. So once my layout is uh, ready, I'll just stick uh, those uh, blank pages together and no one will ever know.
Once all the floss was in place and uh, all my airplane trails were ready, I've used tacky glue and stick the wood veneers on uh, top of my pages. I didn't uh, bother to color the planes, I just love uh, the wooden feel of it. So my layout is almost ready, I just need to add uh, my quote. I've used two different alphabets by Tim Holtz and uh, this is a tag, a craft tag by Ranger. I'm stamping it using an uh, archival link, that's coffee color, and I'm uh, going to cut down uh, the tag to make it smaller. So I'm using my scissors and uh, I'm, I'm recreating uh, the tag to make it more of the size that I want. And uh, I'm also going to stamp the date on uh, the side of this tag using the same distress ink. I'll uh, use my Tim Holtz applicator and apply some of the same ink uh, all around the tag and uh, now my tag is uh, ready. Now to I'll uh, go ahead and use some string and uh, tie it on uh, my tag and uh, then tie it around my handle, my suitcase handle. So that's why I'm making uh, a couple of holes there. And uh, with the help of my needle, I'll uh, make sure to thread it through the handle. To add just a bit of dimension on my tag, I'm using foam squares at the back and I'm sticking it on top of my sweet case there. So now I'll uh, use my white gel pen to add uh, some uh, highlights around my words and uh, this will make them pop. And uh, I guess my layout is ready. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Thank you all for watching.